high. In the switching power supply age, an electrical transformer looks like a three fingers marsupial. But sometimes we have electronic equipment with bad transformers, so we need to learn how to test them. Let's learn about it. We have here an electrical transformer. It has two windings. It's just copper with some kind of a painting for insulation in several turns, each one around an um, iron nucleus. One of the winding is the primary and the other the secondary. It will depend on how do we connect it and how do we need it. In our case, this is our primary winding and I have to connect it to 220 volts. The secondary will give me uh, 10 volts per each red uh, line in common with the black one in between. That means I have a center tap uh, transformer. I have two windings in the secondary. Sometimes they are independent, sometimes they are joined by the center. So my diagram will look like this. And here I will have 10 volts AC and another 10 volts AC. That means there is a ratio that I transform from one winding to the other. In my case, it is 22 to 1. Every 22 volts I put here, I will get one volt in the output. That's important to know. Now, how do they work? When the AC current, and I wrote AC because we cannot transfer uh, DC, when the AC current comes to the primary, it will make an induction, a magnetic field that will jump to the secondary. We will see that with the oscilloscope in one moment. What we have to do is look for the bigger adapter or transformer you have in your house or in your electronic workshop. And we will use it as the induction transformer. I place my probe in the primary and the other one in the secondary. Now, pay attention to the following graphics. As I get closer to the adapter, I get voltage in my transformer. I get close, look this, the screen. That's the way to test a transformer with the oscilloscope. Now, as you see, each graphic, let me freeze this, they look alike in magnitude, I mean voltage. But what you cannot see on the screen is this knob is set to 10 volts AC per centimeter and the other knob is set to half volt per centimeter, 500 millivolts. So in the real life, this graphic is 20 times smaller than the other. Do you remember what I told you about the ratio? Okay, that's the real graphics. The secondary is 20 times smaller than the primary. I will zoom this one for them to look alike. Okay. Now I'm going to make a test. I will take 
the other secondary and we'll make a short circuit I want you to pay attention to the red graphic what is going to happen with the voltage short is smaller the voltage is dropping why? the voltage is dropping down is falling the voltage because I have a short circuit so if I don't get voltage that means I have an open winding one of the reasons or I could have a short circuit in one of them so remember with oscilloscope and even with a digital multimeter the voltage should increase as I get close to another transformer and the difference between the primary and secondary should be the ratio we calculate in the beginning and we are expecting to get now with a digital multimeter we are, go we are going to use the volts meter and let's see what is going on in the primary once again I will get close to the transformer I get about 800 millivolts So 20, per, uh, 20 times less that will be about 400 or less than 4, sorry, 40 or less than 40 millivolts is what we are expecting to get in the secondary. That's it. Mm-hmm. 40 millivolts. It's on the expectation with the radio. So our transformer passed the induction test. Let's see now with the ohm meter. In the secondary, we are expecting very low resistance because this transformer is a center tap. I have uh, two windings. I will move the transformer here. I have two windings, so the other one should be uh, like this. But if I remove the center and I use the long way with both windings. I will get a little bit more resistance as I said if you get an open circuit OL overload that means the wire is broken inside in the primary we are expecting to get higher resistance than the secondary hundred forty one ohms and the other was close to zero in the secondary this one the higher one the higher one is the primary so now we know how to test them thanks by watching it